Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here at Hyundai Motor Plaza in Chennai near Ekar Tangal Metro Station. So I would like to thank them for allowing me to give you the cars and you can check out the details of the Hyundai Motor Plaza in the description below with the address as well. So let's come back to the review. So today we have this the recently launched the Hyundai Exter. So this is the SUV which is smaller than the venue and it is positioned below the venue as a micro SUV will be the A segment SUV so it is based on the Grand Hyundai or the Aura platform so it has uh, some sharings as well so if you come to the front you have this new Hyundai logo finished in matte extra written over here and uh, you have this uh, LED DR as well in H as well as a projector headlight there and a front skid plate kind of treatment so this is a new kind of color in the lineup of Hyundai and yeah obviously it's, it is good so if you talk about the length of the car, it's around 3815 mm, and the wheelbase is true for 50 mm. So the wheelbase, I think the Grand Item Neos, the Aura, and this has the same uh, wheelbase. So talk about the tire size, 175, 65, or 15s. So the lower trim kit, 14 inches. So yeah, I love it. It's really good. Four lug nuts and the Hyundai logo with front disc brakes as well, and the rear gets the uh, drum. So body color do all. You got body color do handles and roof wheels as well with an integrated sunroof and a shark fin antenna as well so the fuel tank capacity is around 37 liters and the mileage by air for this particular AMT model SXO Connect AMT which is the top of the line it's around 19.2 km per liter so coming back yes you get a VA wiper some good finishing on the boot lid yeah so looks good and feels good as well H shaped tail lights LED tail lights extra return over your rear camera as well and talking about the boot, this is 391 liters and so this is spare wheel which is a 14 incher so yeah boot shaping is good 391 liters is good i think the signal first and but loading lip is kind of on the high side but it's fine like easily you can put it in big suit again it's more accommodatable and yeah so let's just close the boot so the build quality of this what everyone used to tell was Hyundai's build quality wasn't good but this time I can feel after the Bona which is standing right there the extra's build quality is actually good in the new Hyundai lineup and if you see there are some good cuts and creases on the body as well so which makes it stand out on the road as well among the competition so let's get in so getting in and out is easy since the car has a tall profile and yeah the door shut with the proper touch so yeah good build quality and so if you talk about the legroom and even Legroom is good, Legroom is also good, and the tire support is also fine. The seat is not that low, and the seats are supportive as well. So, you get rear AC vents, and the floor is almost flat. So, three people like me would be comfortable. So, yeah, the rear seat is fine. So, you get door bins as well. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. Window is fine enough, you won't feel claustrophobic, and you get an integrated sunroof, which I had mentioned earlier. So, for safety, if I talk about it, like you get six airbags, ABS, EBD, ESC, traction control, hill hold control, tire pressure monitoring system, and three-pointed seat belts as well. So yeah, and for the first time, Hyundai's added maybe the second car in the lineup of Hyundai's. It has a dash cam as well. So yeah, in terms of safety, that also we can include it. That dash cam is one of the most essential features right now in the market. So this car, this car has been loaded with a lot of tech, lot of tech, and six airbags have been made as standard. Also, this has passive entry as well. So height adjust, manual height adjust for the driver seat, front and rear power windows, and the fuel lid is over here. So yeah, and you have metal pedals as well, so that looks good. You see, here you have the traction control button and the parking camera, also with the headlight level and the engine start stop button. So here it exactly shows which door is open. So let me show you the key before that. So key is a bit heavier the now. Lock, unlock and will directly open the boot from the key. So that's the typical Hyundai fashion. So you get a manual handbrake, twin cup holders and the AMT. This is the 5 speed AMT. Driver was neutral driving and the for the manual mode. First in segment wireless charger. This is the charging ports and automatic climate control as well this is an 8 inch unit with android auto apple CarPlay, and navigation as well as some nature sounds so that's kind of unique 
So this the glove box is big enough and it is a cool glove box. There's some space and good treatment on the dash as well. If you see some tri or avo pattern, so it looks like sir a three D pattern. So let's just switch on the ignition. Before that, let me show you this. Get it um told you see told you twin lights here and a mirror here yeah. So here also you get the blowing connectivity features and. If you see this, this is the information display. So it shows a lot of information like since we feel since we start and the compass, the navigation, the tire pressure. So yeah, a lot of things here, and you have the settings as well. You can change it. So. So let me just go to this home. So this is the 18-inch unit, and it is Hyundai's uh, infotainment system were always good, but now it's even better. After the uh, Ionic 5, the Tucson, and the Verna, now the Extra also gets this latest platform and the latest technology: map navigation, phone per phone projection, valet mode settings. Radio media, quiet mode, blue link manual. If you go into settings, you have various settings as well. Vehicle navigation, phone connection, user profile, voice recognition display, general settings. So we're going to vehicle settings. You have driver assistance and cluster. You can change the cluster. Yeah, you can change the theme as well. So like basically, you can change the color if you put theme A. If you put theme B and theme C. So basically, it is just some themes without the drive mode. And we have climate change as well, and uh, we have lights, door, and convenience as well. So yeah, lot of settings, and it is very slick. It has navigation as well. So good system here. So let's open the engine bay and let me show you how the engine is and what all the engine options. So so when you go. Like when you get out of the car, this is the sound which it makes, and yeah, so good enough. So the engine is very light, and it has the same engine which is used in the Grand I10, the Aura, and the Venue as well. So this is the 1.2 liter Kappa motor with 83 horsepower and 114 newton meters of torque. It also has a CNG version, which has 69 horsepower and 95 newton meters of torque. So it has been detuned to accommodate the CNG for more obviously more average and uh, more what people say is more clean fuel technology. So overall, what I say about the extra, uh, I mean, it is a new segment basically. Like the rival of the Tata Punch, mainly the other cars I don't count them. It is mainly the Tata Punch, so it is well loaded according to the price point, and it has a starting price of around five lakh ninety nine thousand to be approximate or maybe to be to exact six lakh extra room, and then yeah, six lakh extra room for an introductory price. So the base model is really good, so it is loaded with tech as well, with like with many in segment first in segment features as well, good looks and good space at the rear with a good boot as well. So if anyone is interested to buy this car, you can definitely contact me on YouTube or Instagram. I can help you connect with the dealers as well. And if you have any doubts, I'll just clear them as well. So thank you so much. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. And do let me know your views about the Hyundai Extra, as well as check check out the details of the Hyundai Motor Plaza in the description below.